All right, so when you see it here, you're just gonna click close. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and move it to trash because I'm only dealing with 120 gig SSD on this bad boy. Actually, that's not true. I have a 100 uh, terabyte drive. All right, let's see if we can find where NetBeans is. All right, so we're gonna start it. We should have to do a little configuration here. All right, let's see if it'll actually let us go through. So we're gonna do a new project. We'll just title it um, New Boston. All right, be that way. We'll just choose one here, click next. It's gonna activate Java. If it actually finds it. There we go, Java applications one. Uh, that's fine, we'll leave it at that, no big deal. We're gonna click finish. And then in order to start working on um, your homework, it'll give you this right here. So let's say that you're done with this one. You would come over, right click new Java class, give it a title. So for instance, we'll be doing like new Boston lesson one. Finish, and then you can start typing in that. You'll edit it just like it is. So when the new Boston guy is going through the, his Eclipse IDE setup, you're right here ready to go. You'll be able to work on this stuff. All right, so that's how you get NetBeans running.